welcome to the channel. In this week's video, I am still at home in my sticks and bricks. I'm waiting for my contract to start in a week and I'll be heading back to West Virginia. So in this week's video, I wanted to talk about designing the van. I did a couple of tours of the van and I have gotten hundreds of responses about the designing, how well it's designed, how pretty the layout is. And I wanted to share with you how Kelly and I came up with the idea of doing our van. So the first thing that I guess most people do is they head to YouTube and they watch hundreds and hundreds of videos on van designs and that's exactly what Kelly and I did. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, we watched a ton of videos, looked at a ton of photos. The other thing that we did is we went to a van conference in Southern Illinois. We drove down there. There was a lot of vans there that actually were allowing tours. You could walk through them, look at how they did things. And we found two vans made by the same company. We really liked the clean finish of the design. White walls with accent colors, a lot of the darker woods on the ceiling and floor. The one van had a, underneath the floor a pullout kitchen design totally stole that from that uh, van and so that's how we got started we made a list of all the things that we absolutely wanted in the van and we made a list of things that we weren't a fan of those lists they changed as we saw more videos. We would add things, take away things. Oh, I like this kitchen design better than this one. So really, really saw a lot of videos and just watched video after video after video. So the first thing we decided on was the bed. We both knew that we wanted it to run back to front. Neither one of us wanted to climb over the other in the middle of the night, going to bed late, getting up early. We did not want to disturb the other person. So I went ahead and started that first. Some people think that it uses more space, but the extra space that we had on the sides, because you're taking off from the length, because you're running it long ways, we used that area for nightstands and we love that area. We both have places at night. I store my quilt in there. I pull that out in the middle of the night and I can cover up with it. In the morning, I put it back in there. It's working out perfect. We both have slots for our computers and then just a storage space for our nighttime, whatever you want in those storage spaces. So that's working out perfect. So once I built the bed, I once I designed it, I knew that I wanted just enough space above my head that I wouldn't hit the ceiling. That would maximize that garage space. So that was our first project. I got the bed built, we got the mattress in, and then we left. We uh, went to Florida. While we were down there, we had a lot of downtime. We talked about all of our thoughts, all of our plans, and really had a lot of discussion time. Um, we got a lot of things that we needed purchased while we were gone, so that when we got home, we could really dive in on the rest of the build. So when we got back, we made cardboard mock-ups. That was probably the single-handed best thing that we did. We made these cardboard mock-ups and then Kelly could visualize exactly what I was talking about. The sink base is going to be this tall. It's going to come out this far. It's going to extend this close to the door. The dresser, I want it this tall. That way we can, you know, work at it. Um, when we're getting ready, we'll have a little cabinet above it for, you know, a medicine cabinet. And the shower base will be here. The toilet base will be here. It really gave her a better idea when she could see it. So then we knew that that's, let's go ahead, let's get started on this design. So I put the sink base in and the dresser base, not, of the, not any of the drawers, but just the base of the dresser and the sink base. And it was time for us to take another trip. We were going to go up to Minnesota and that gave us another opportunity to kind of live in the van. It was going to be a week long or four or five days, week long. It would give us an, a longer amount of time to actually live in the van and see if it was going to work. So I feel like these little steps living in it 
little steps living in it really helped it helped kelly see what my my ideas were if what we were doing is what we talked about in the beginning like she could visualize it but taking the trips also gave us the opportunity you know she's cooking at the sink you know at the counter can i get past her you know those kind of things is it better to be sleeping front to back so we can wake up in the middle of the night if we have to or if I wake up before her and I want to get my coffee I don't want to climb over you know are these designs gonna work so um so going so after we got home from that trip from Minnesota that really sealed it this was the design we were going to go with let's go ahead full force and finish the van so another thing that I did is the things that I knew I wanted in the van I made homes for it like Kelly wanted to be able to take a small instapot and possibly a small ice maker when she joins me on the road so one of the cabinets I made it big enough so that all of our all of those appliances that she wanted would be able to fit into the van so everything that I wanted to bring with me that I was taking out on all my dry runs I wanted to make sure that all those things had a home so that helped me throughout the design throughout the build find a home for everything because when things don't have a home that's when you open up the van and there's a mess everywhere because it doesn't have a home it just gets piled up places so and it is not it does not take a lot in van life to have everything cluttered so um that has helped me um you know that was just a big help for me find a home for everything the last part of designing your van is doing all the final decorations that's the funnest part and that's the final part you get you got your van build done every all the constructions done now it's time to decorate and what most people do is find an inspiration so do you like um puppies do you like cooking and you're going to design do you like the ocean use the ocean pattern so you find your inspiration and then you start decorating and that's what kelly and i did kelly found our quilt because our inspiration is maddie maddie's our dachshund we both love her very much and we wanted her to be a part of the process so she was our inspiration and then my love for outdoors was the other inspiration so between Maddie, between my love of outdoors, we really have a warm, cozy finish to the van. Kelly, I built a shelf for plants. Kelly made the plants. We really worked together on the build. I, she went shopping and she picked out all the finishing touches of the van while I was finishing the van. And really, really, it just really tied everything together. All right, so those are the tips and tricks of how I designed our van. I hope this was a help to some of you. I hope that I've given you some ideas on some things that you can do to help prepare for your van build. And good luck. Good luck on the designing and the build. We will see you on the next video.